much. Oh, we don't like the wax oil. It's an absolute nightmare. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you love the content. Hi guys, welcome to Make It. I'm Dave, for those of you that don't know me, and today we've had a bit of a crazy one. So Bruno's been busy this week. This is a Blue 90 that has got 330D in it, and it's gonna be one wild spec. So this is gonna be my own personal car and a demo car. And as you can see here, this is what we've been doing with the new dry ice machine. <laughs> This car came in with a, I think I, I use wax oil as a swear word because it's horrible stuff. And as you can see here now, we've got a beautiful finish ready for paint to adhere to. All, the, all in here was pummeled with wax oil. I think the, the previous owner must have thought that he was hiding things rather than making it look pretty. But anyway, we've got rid of that and we're going to paint this chassis. We're going to get this chassis nice again. Um, what I want to prove in this like, episode is an option that we don't need to change the chassis. Like this car is a 2012 and it's crusty don't get me wrong but we've got rid of that crust now but what i want to offer someone is a fast turnaround so bring your car to me on a monday take it around on a friday right decrusted nicely painted and you know it's going to be future proofed inside of the chassis is going to get treatment outside the chassis is going to get treatment as you'll see here we've took it, taken all the sills off we've taken all the mud flaps off we've taken the exhaust system off so some of the cars guys are going to need new exhaust systems they're going to need new bushes things like this here we've removed the crusty uh, bump stops just so we get in here anywhere there can be a trap point or as we all know land rover like laminating steel and behind laminating steel things corrode and what we'll be doing is where all the joins are and laminations are we'll be packing out the paint sealing it up to stop all the, the salt and crap getting in there if you like so if you keep following next week guys this will be one very shiny eat your dinner off the underside of a defender so keep following So how much? We charge £2,000, our prices start from £2,000, 90 or 110, £2,000 to basically make your chassis look like this. All right, Gareth, you're in there somewhere. There he is. Yes. Uh, we've not been here for two weeks. What's going on with the Porsche 90? Uh, so at the minute, I'm just doing the, starting on the interior. So I'm cutting, making some templates and cutting some carpets for it. Um, obviously out of that big roller carpet there. We've done pretty, pretty much almost finished on this side now. I've just got to finish sticking down this piece that I've just made. And we've got all the back to do on the other side. Um, since you've been gone, we've obviously done a bit of wiring, ran a few wires through. We've fitted some uh, puddle light arms. There's a little light underneath there, so when you open the door, it shines down. Um, obviously the color-coded mirrors. Uh, and then we've done a full smoked light set. So we've got smoked indicators, all your smoked front lights there, and on the other side, the same. Um, then we've mounted the uh, Fox reservoirs for the struts. Uh, so there's one there and one on the opposite side for the other side. And then if we go around to the back of the vehicle. Yeah, so on the, on the back, we've done the, the smoke lights as well, all the same. It's a red light kit. 
Um, it's also got a optimal reversing camera there, which has got your built-in number plate light underneath. Um, and we've ran all the wires, wires for that up, up to the front. Uh, we've got a nice wheel carrier and nav step put on. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the, the optimal washer jets, same on the front as well. We put the um, little crash guard on for the, for the diff. We've also put this steering guard up top on here, um, just to stop any de uh, debris from hitting the, hitting the steering. Um, underneath, we've also done the prop shafts, uh, we've tracked it up, everything's, most of the running gear's on now. So it's not too far off. Man, well, Ooh. it's brew time. Yes, brew time. Go get it. See you in a bit. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you love the content. What's up then, Mark? Uh, well, today we're uh, prepping a headliner, um, ready to get uh, Alcantar. So what we're doing is um, I've stripped off the old material off the back, off the top, sorry, and then it leaves like a like a fluffy residue, which is the scrim underneath. So what I've got to do then is take it all back with my trusty drill and a lot of dust and thingy to get it all cleaned off, so I can re-glue it all on. Uh, and then it won't sag in two to three years' time because we're doing it properly, as always. Uh, which car is this for? It's the one with the uh, going with the Porsche interior leather, which is this leather over here, as you can see. The customer um, likes the Porsche look. I presume he's got a Porsche or many of them. So we picked actual Porsche leather. So he's not gone cheap on the leather, which is good. And then also, if you want to spin round, Ben, oh, we've gone round here. He's also having Porsche Hudge Tooth 
in his seats as well. So it's very much a Porsche theme because I think the colour's a Porsche green colour. And then he's having Porsche leather and Porsche hood's tooth into his vehicle. Nice. So this is going... This is going on the set of... No, or, that's no. going in the centre of the seat. So if you see these Recaros here right, okay. as a demonstration. These Recaros, so he's having them in Porsche brown leather with uh, the hood's tooth material in the centres and going up to here and to the bottom. Uh, and then brown leather, the same as the, the stuff hanging up around the edges of the seats. And he's having his dashboard, his door cards, his rear plastics, and his headliner is then going to get is getting Alcantara, which is this, which is the black stuff. Um, very nice posh finish. Again, exactly what Porsche uses in theirs. So yeah, so a land Porsche ninety is uh, coming along nicely. What he needs is a boxer engine, really. Mm, yeah, well, he's got standard engine there, hasn't he? What have we got here? So here we have our Outlander project that we've fitted a V8 to. We've added in to basically give it a two coat paint on the chassis. Uh, rubbed it all down, it's had the rough tough coat, make it give it another lease of life. It's had adrenaline bars on the steering dampers. Uh, it's got Fox shots. It's had um, it's had a good treatment underneath, brand new axles all built it. They had the AP brakes all fitted to it as well, all nice and shiny and new. So uh, what brake kit is this? It's our AP brake kit, 16 inch I think it is. Top of my head, it's had our homemade flanges that we've got. And what's happened on the back end, anything? Yep, it's had the same as the front, it's got the adrenaline arms with the Fox shocks. And again, it's going to be fitted with our AP brake kit we've got. New axles at the back as well, brand new diffs. All new arms and super pro bollock poly bush kits. Ready to be all painted and reinstalled with a new tub. So it's getting a new tub on the back Yeah, end, it's having it? a new tub on the rear. It's just getting, uh, it's waiting to be painted as we speak. We've not seen Christine in a couple of weeks. What's new? Project Christine. The lads next door have put the new rail net on. Uh, looks nice and funky. And I fabricated a screen wash tank. A bit better than the, the standard plastic one. Obviously you get powder coated black. The pump's hidden, hidden underneath, so it looks clean. And I'm just messing around with the shifter's inside. Um, it's an automatic box, so uh, let's get this. This will be the shifter. That will live in the cubby hole that we got. So that'll go there somewhere, as they normally go. And I'm just messing around with the high and low and the diff lock. So we've had to make a metal plate, come off the gearbox, transfer box adapter. 
and basically to how house all the knob and the mechanism so it's pretty much finalized now you know it's pr in engages pretty well you know just like it would normally standard so that's sound and just making a cover need to pock it all off tidy it up really you know it's, just, it's not easy like to get it looking tidy anyway uh, we're going to keep the factory surround obviously it's rotated 90 degrees gear knob the gear gator will be on there so it'll look factory yeah getting there Please like and subscribe, and I hope you love the content. So today we've got this lovely bowler that's on this ramp over in the booth and uh, we're giving it a bit of a, a dry ice treatment. It's the first full sh chassis that we've been doing in the dry ice. It's a bit of a new toy that we've, we're have we having a little play with to see if it's any good. And so far it's, it's pretty cracking. It gets all, all the paint and all of the crusty, rusty stuff off nice and easier. Saves a bit of time rather than holding a wire wheel brush on, but as you might be able to see from the from the floor, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite messy. So you definitely want to be doing it in a confined space, and it's a little bit slippy as well. So I can attest to that. Um, so obviously, you're not just using the dry ice today. What else are you putting in the mix? No, so what else we're putting in is we've got this shot which is in those bags down there and then we've also got little be beads of ice, uh, not ice sorry, little beads of glass that we can also mix in with the ice. Uh, now that stuff, the only reason I'm not using that right now is because that stuff's really slippier when, it, when it's on the floor. So at the minute we're just using just got this, using this shot in with it. And it seems to be, seems to be working really well. But I've not done, not got around to doing it in this bit yet. But if we can, if we go around to the other side, I've been cracking on with that. And you can see, it's really nice how it brings it up. And then it will be getting our uh, undercoat after after this but the only problem is with it being ice and if you're also wanting to try this with your tape make sure you keep an eye on it because with it being wet it can pick a bit of the tape up but apart from that it's yeah it's really good stuff so far so good really it's really it's nice it is it's in in good condition the the chassis was all covered in that wax oil which oh, we don't like the wax oil it's an absolute nightmare so poor old mike was uh giving it a good old wash off the other day trying to get all the wax oil off uh, so the dry ice machine was that not working so well for the dry for the wax oil it does, it, yeah, we tried it on it. It does work quite well with the wax oil as well, but that's just even more, e even more mess. So we thought we'd get the steam cleaner on it, give it a wash outside and then bring it in the booth and make a bit more mess in the booth. <laughs> I think you've accomplished that. So as you can see now, Bruno's finished uh, ice blasting and what you'll notice is we've gone back to all the seams and now we've done a two stage. So the first stage has been a rust proofing process, which we actually use 
a thing called construction primer, which is a Kent product. And then we use the Kent overcoat, which is this product here, which is Kent tough coat black. It's durable to stone chips, scrapes, mud, bits and pieces. And then the next stage then is in here, we'll be going with a Grin Lewis mud shield to stop the mud going up here and hitting the valuable bulkhead, which is what we don't want to be changing in say 10 years to come. So what I want to say is once we've done this coating, the cars, you know, I want to get like almost guarantee another 10 years life out of the chassis. So that's it for another one of our episodes, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you love the content that's been in today. We've been a very hectic week and the builds are all making good progress and we're getting them out the door. So please tune in to next week. And if you want your chassis blasted and coated, please get in touch. Thank <laughs> you.